tonight. A Kennesaw pet store targeted by protesters for more than a year is suing the main protest leader over what she's put on Facebook. A Facebook page called Shut Down Pet Land in Kennesaw, Georgia, has nearly 7,000 likes, many complaining the store sells puppies produced in puppy mills or often sells pets who are seriously ill. Well, the store denies those charges, and as Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis reports now the Kennesaw Petland wants a judge to punish the woman responsible. Randy? That's right, uh, yeah, Russ and Lisa. Here's a twist. Both sides point to our earlier hidden camera investigation of Petland as proof the judge should rule for them. The source says our reports show the widespread coverage caused by the shutdown Petland Facebook page. But the woman behind the page says our investigation confirms how important this issue is to the public. a year of sidewalk protests, this dispute finally wound up indoors. Lamar Parker, the longtime owner of Petland Kennesaw, squaring off against Karen Paul, animal lover and creator of a Facebook page that is clearly putting a muzzle on the pet store's profits. She's a stay-at-home stay mom who they thought that they could bully and harass into shutting down the page. We're not looking to end her web page. We're not looking to stop her protests. This case is about handful of recklessly false and defamatory statements made on the web page. Paul started the Facebook protest page after multiple visits to the Kennesaw store, where she posted reports of seeing sick dogs, sometimes sold for as much as $4,000. She claimed store employees misled customers, not just on the health, but also on the breed of dog or cat they were buying. She posted pictures of 18 wheelers unloading puppies from out-of-state breeders. When we paid an undercover visit in July, the workers promised us certain animals wouldn't shed, even though management later admitted there was no guarantee. And various cat experts insisted certain $1,500 cats advertised as designer breeds were nothing more than common house cats. Petland's response? No one had ever complained. Just this week, the Humane Society of the United States revealed their own hidden camera investigation of Georgia pet stores. It accused Petland Kennesaw of relying on puppies from questionable breeders, including one who received an official warning letter from the U.S. Department of Agriculture for violating federal minimum care veterinary regulations. Petland of Kennesaw insists all their puppies come from responsible licensed breeders. In reference numbers 28034. Karen Paul's attorney says she has a First Amendment right through her Facebook Facebook page to rally the community and government to take action. Petland Kennesaw is trying to send a message to 7,000 community members speaking against them, and that message is perfectly clear. But the store pointed to specific comments on the Facebook page about how they treat animals that it insists are not true. Petland Kennesaw's attorney argued those, quote, defamatory comments caused the store to lose sales and revenue and loss of goodwill in the community. They want Cobb County Superior Court Judge Robert Flournoy to order Karen Paul to remove the posts, apologize, and pay damages and their legal fees. Claims that Petland employees are murdering dogs in the back room without any certification is just completely false. That does not happen. Well, Judge Flournoy did not make a decision today on whether the lawsuit should move forward, maybe in a couple of weeks, uh, Lisa and Russ. Her information is so critical and specific. Mm -hmm. Where is she getting it from? You know, some of it she saw herself. Others she says she got from customers of Petland. And she says she also hears from current and former employees of Petland, so she just passes along what they told her. The judge will have to decide, well, is that privileged information? Is that protected information? Or is she in trouble for just passing along things that perhaps cannot be proven? Yeah. We'll find out. It matters whether it's true, right? Right. All right. Randy Travis, thanks very much. Sir,